Let's get the read of things from Hadley Heath Manning, independent women's voice senior policy analyst. We've got Kathy Aru, the Catalina Magazine genius, and Jonathan Gorpina, <laughs> equally brilliant, uh, Meridian Equity Partners, the senior managing editor. So, Jonathan, and with you, begin with you. Am I right about the markets much more interested in seeing tax cuts happen than even Obamacare getting repealed and replaced? I, I, I do agree with that, and I think at that point right now, that's what really investors feel much more comfortable at and can see um, if something like this does go through, how it goes through is still a little uncertain. But if something like this goes through, it's going to have an impact to Main Street immediately. So I think right now that is one of the higher items that everyone is looking at. Clearly, Obamacare is something that's, that's on the radar screen and really focused on it. But when you look at taxes, I think Main Street America can really equate to how much money do I make and how much do I have to give to the government. And if that number goes down in some way, shape, or form, Main Street is going to feel good about that. So I think that's an easier concept to understand and really what everyone is looking at at this point. You know, when we came in uh, this morning, Hadley, the markets were selling off. Obviously, the Flynn News was front and center and the front page of every paper, website, what have you. So it isn't surprising that markets that had run up uh, stumbled a little bit, uh, convinced that maybe this distraction would be even more than just a distraction. So I don't think it was accidental or coincidental that you had the Republican leadership coming together to remind people we're still working on repealing and replace, repealing and replace. What did you make of that? Uh, well, clearly, well, it's important I'm to sorry. focus on it's, it's important to focus on uh, the policies that will affect the economy, whether it's tax reform or health care reform. Remember, repealing Obamacare would be a huge tax cut because there were more than 20 tax increases in the law itself. So this affects not just the sector of our economy that is health care. It's approximately almost one fifth of our economy now. But every employer over 50 workers is affected by the employer mandate in the ACA that affects hiring and wages. Uh, so Obamacare is an economic issue and it will in, in, impact markets as well. Oh, I don't minimize that, the ACA to which she's referring, by the way, the Affordable Care Act, better known as we said, Obamacare. But, Kathy, yeah. uh, I always wonder whether Republicans got their priorities mixed. And I got a lot of wrath and a lot of heat from people who said, you know, Neil, uh, we are trying to look for widespread voter fraud in the last election. Right. Uh, fine. I, I, you know, I'm not minimizing the fact that that could have been a big deal, whether it's a three million uh, vote big deal. Uh, I'm just thinking that it's a weird way to kick things off when I, uh, when I think those tax cuts and I think the regulatory reform are probably more immediately pressing. But maybe Washington can merrily move on, walking and talking and chewing gum at the same time. What do you think? I, I don't know. I've covered two administrations. I don't want to give away my age, but I have covered two administrations. This is my third. I've covered 28. <laughs> okay. 28. I go back. All yeah. Right. And we're still 25. But um, so, so I've never seen such chaos. And what my sources are telling me is that there is chaos right now, and they're seeing a transition happening after the transition. Not everyone is working. We don't know what Trump care is going to look like. Paul Ryan seemed very optimistic that he was going to get things done, that his uh, corporate tax cuts were going to happen, and we're all waiting for that corporate tax reform. And we're not talking about it, and the White House isn't talking about it. The tweeter in chief, as I've heard him called, is not talking about it. And we need to know, what is Trump care going to look like? Is Paul Ryan going to be able to finally pass his reform? These are important questions that need to be answered, and we're being distracted by Mar-a-Lago and all these crazy photos that are coming out. And, and it's, it's just it's very distracting. I've never seen this in any White House that I've covered. You, you don't seem to like the president. I, 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 um, I, I don't want to say that. You're I, I don't like what he, You're I don't, blocking. I don't like what he's doing. I don't like what he's doing. All right. Well, this is Valentine's Day, and I think we all show the love for everybody. Right. That's just a little lecture there. Um, Jonathan, <laughs> if, if, if it looks like the repeal and replace, whatever you want to call it, is delayed, uh, and it looks more uh, problematic than even Republicans thought, do you think they should go full throttle behind the tax cut? Because that they have broad agreement on. Uh, what do you think? Absolutely. I think when you talk about re repeal and replace, we know what that means. We just don't know what it's going to look like, right? How long will it take? Right. How are you going to repeal? What are you going to replace it? You saw in your lead in, you had three different uh, Republican speakers there come up and they used kind of a, a blanket uh, answer as to what replace is going to be. So that will have to be, in my opinion, put to the side for now. And it seems like there is some clear um, agenda as to how we're going to see some sort of tax reform. And like I said before, I think people can equate to that better. And, and it's 
we're going to see that translate in the market right now, right? We, we have so much uncertainty, but yet the market has not sold off from that uncertainty. I well, think you know, that's a very good way to look at it. That was kind of what Stuart was doing in, in, in his show here, kind of saying how to throw all the problems and all the controversies and the mar lago thing with the people shooting pictures and all this stuff. That, that uh, there is confidence that through all this, we're going to get this tax reform. Through all of this, we're going to see the Republicans right themselves and things will be fine. Do you agree with that? I, I do. Look I mean, at what to oh, Hadley, sorry. I'm sorry. I keep cutting you no, off. No, no, no. That's uh, my mic for not being clear. Okay. Hadley? Well, look back to 2010 when we saw the Affordable Care Act passed. You know, that was a messy process. People forget. We don't want to see another mess from Republicans when it comes to health care reform. But ultimately, Democrats were able to get it done because they made compromises and they came together. They found consensus behind the plan. I think Republicans can do the same thing when it comes to health reform. They can do the same thing when it comes to tax reform. But they can't do everything at once. And they need to set realistic expectations, especially when it comes to health reform, because, of course, Insurers have to file rates very early in the year for what's going to happen in 2018 already. So we may not That's see true. an immediate impact from any kind of health reform. Yeah, I, I still think in the end, I don't know where, where you stand on this, Kathy, that we'll, we will get the repeal thing done, but the idea that they can quickly replace it. But I don't know if that's going to, yeah, I don't know if that's going to be in the office. And too many distractions. I think it's going to take a long time. If these distractions continue, the GOP has got to get together in Congress and do what they do. They, they can't be lapdogs for Trump right now. They've got to let him do what he's going to do with his team, get everyone in place. We still don't have everyone in place. I mean, the White House isn't running right now with the full, full staff. Well, whose so, fault is that? They blocked, they, they would have blocked the janitor at well, this we stage, just, right? we just lost Flynn, so whose fault was uh, that? Ooh, so. oh, no, you didn't. Oh, all yes, right. I did. Guys, thank you all <laughs> very, very much. We'll see what happens here.